Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 on the European countryside. We have got quite a bit of work to do in this episode, guys. Um, right, first things first, I have figured out what I was doing wrong with the Raging Reapers Farmers Market, guys. I completely didn't realise you have to put the liquid fertiliser in a tanker. Um, you do that, it, it works. Um, yeah, completely, completely didn't even cross my mind. Um, so yeah, it, as soon as I figured it out, I was like, no way, would I just be an idiot? I did state yesterday that I was very tired on that episode, like, physically tired. And yeah, it turns out I was also acting like a complete um, wally, to be honest. Right, today's job, I've got a couple of jobs I'd like to get done. Um, Long story short, I've got a fertilising contract to do. Oh my mate, I'm I'm still I'm still coughing, guys. Um, so I do apologise for that. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of fertilising contracts to do, which came up in the job list when I loaded in this morning. So that's fantastic, just to give you an idea which ones they are. So we're going to go and do them. Um, Thirty-six and thirty-eight. So. Uh, 36 is that one, 38 is that one over there, that's fine. And on the way back guys, we need to buy a roller for our fields before we can uh, leave the leave for the next next month basically. Um, other than that, you know, we're going to be looking into some possible contracts. Um, that grass is ready to cut, but I would rather wait for the next stage, to be honest. Yeah, I did manage to sell about three, three thousand eight hundred pound or something, something silly like that, maybe. Um, just the wood blocks in the forest. Um, I, I did state I was going to do that off the recording yesterday, and I, I did do that. Um, so hope I, there might be the odd one I've missed. Hopefully, though, today if we can get these two fertilising contracts done. Like I said, I am going to look at maybe rearranging the farm a little bit. Now, I know we kind of custom made the farm to update our series, but it was never guaranteed to stay like that. I just didn't, I just got rid of the new, the newer buildings. That's all I did, really. Um, but we've got a lot of sheds that I don't, I don't really like them big long ones. Now, one of them, having one of them is brilliant because it's a workshop. We don't need the same one three times. Do you know what I mean? Um, crops are not grown, so we can cut across here. That's fine. So this is the first field. Um, I am going to tell you what. Actually, I'm going to cut across here. Cause I'm going to go and do field 38 first, just on the off chance we don't have enough fertilizer. Um, if we don't have enough fertilizer, At least then I'm near the shop. I will buy another bag of fertiliser if I don't have enough. That is guaranteed. I'm not going to mess around going all the way back to the farm. Um, but yeah, these, these are today's little jobs. We want to we wanna get these absolutely smashed out of the park really quickly. We do have quite a old school wide spreader. I don't know if this is kind of fitting in with the age, but I used the, I used the mod I didn't used before it kind of looks a bit old and scabby wouldn't say it was a new technology right, sorry about that coughing me guts up still um, yeah that is looking real I didn't think we'd use it all to be honest but I also didn't want to risk not using it, you know, on the off chance. Um, but yeah, we need to buy a roller. Um, I can't bring the roller back from the shop, can I? I've just realised I can't bring the roller back with me and the fertiliser. I don't have a front linkage. We've still got this problem of not having a front linkage tractor at the moment. Ugh, I completely forgot about that. Didn't even cross my mind. Um, as per usual, we'll just do contracts until it says um, completed, just because at the end of the day, 
that's half for the deal to be done so that'll do for us um, plus it means we can crack on with something else This one done. I know that overspray is a little much. I do maybe a bit wider, but I don't think it's really going to matter too much. There we go. I'll finish that strip. Right, one fertilizing contract down. Like I say, it's all about just doing the, uh, just completing the. Wow, that is a bit of lag. I don't know what it is, it's always when I go to first person and before anyone says, oh yeah, but Reaper, I've got a 30 series graphics card. There's no way this should be happening. I didn't realise how close we were to that field. Um, but yeah, there we go. Yeah, so it was my fault for the Raging Reaper Prime Mark. It, it took it as the minute I put it into a trip. I wouldn't mind, but I was thinking as soon as I as soon as I got off the recording, I was like, oh, okay, right, we need to look into the Raging Reaper. And I was like, I need to put it in a trailer. And I, I even spawned. I you know I loaded up a new game, put the market down, and I even got a tractor and trailer out, you know, with a liquid tank, and I was like, Ta -da. so I'm just sold it. I was like, it's working. And then I was like. I tried to sell the pallet and that's where it went wrong. It's down as liquid, but it had to be in the liquid form from the tank. So yeah, nothing wrong with the mod whatsoever. It was just me being a proper little idiot yesterday, not really paying attention. Um, but I have now decided to keep it because we are probably going to use it um, over on our farm. We can use it on some contracts. We do need to buy and obviously buy a sprayer, which is fair enough, but we might as well just use it. Yeah, that's these two contracts done really, really quickly. So that is really good. Um, it's still only 10.23 a.m. in the morning in September. Um, I am maybe thinking of increasing the time to five. Um, just because I'm thinking maybe that will skip through the days a bit. I want to try and do it. Where like I could maybe start recording say seven o'clock on a morning in the game, um, and then by the time I've roughly finished, it should be about five-ish, give or take. Um, you know, yeah, and I know it means we, you know, we might be doing a little bit in the dark, but yeah, I, I need to look into that. Ninety-seven percent. Done. And that is all I need. But yeah. Um Genuine question, genuine question, genuine question. Have I got enough money to buy this freaking tractor now? Um Let's have a look. So that's now completed. That's now completed. Have we got any more? No, we've got some cultivating, harvesting. Those two are next to our field. Dry it and ted it. Bale it. Takes it to the livestock market. Dry it. Right, so eight and nine. Eight and nine are there. I really, I really want to do them because we can just cut it. Grass it. Uh, we can just cut it. Ted it, windrow it, bail it, and take them all at once. I am really, really tempted to do them contracts. Um, you got to remember, in the next couple of months, guys, we don't have much to do, and then it working next to our farm is going to be quite a, a pleasant thing as well. Um, all right, so this is where we are. This is where we are. This is where we are. Um, Do want to work with that one? Uh, 
Right, so three and a half grand for two extra horsepower. I'm not really interested in that. Uh, 32,000. We do... We do need... That little weight there. And I'll show you the reason why. Now, it'll look a little bit silly. Right, we need we need a colour. I kind of like that green. I really do. We've had red. Could just, yeah, could maybe go with a blue. Blue too. Now, we'll, we'll stick with the default colour. Um... Yeah, we'll stick with the default colour, and I think we'll go with that one. I think I think that is a a good little setup. We're not bored about mirrors. We're not bored about roof. We're not bored about glass design, are we? No, we're not bored about glass design. Although tinted glass for ten pound, go on, we'll have that. And uh, we need a license plate. Um, right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my only Patreon. Um. Right, I can't put his whole name, so we're going to have to improvise. Right, okay, so that's not a deadly Cooper. So DE, so we'll do it differently. Because like I said, I need to try and get it to fit. Um, deadly. Cooper. Don't, don't really fit, but... You you can you can easily see what that says. Thirty two thousand, right? Done. We have bought it. Let us go on here. We've got three thousand, so we do need to buy something else as well. This is fantastic. Oh, I've just realised I haven't got enough money to buy the. Um, I don't think I've got enough money to buy the roller. Oh, I've just I think I've maybe just messed up. I need the roller today, like, like now. Oh, I, I might just, I might have just messed up. Two point five, two point five. All right, so they're both two point five meters. I think we'll maybe go for that one rather than that one. Oh, one point five. Well, there you go. Oh no, that's what. Yeah, I don't have one point five. Bugger. That's four meters wide. Oh, we've really, yeah, we've really messed up. Right, I've got an idea. We're gonna leave that there. Um. I've got a bit of an idea, and it involves us selling that little pack of strawberries. Right, now, as you know, I've got a mod in this map, or in this series, called um, Bigger Palette, basically. I can't remember the exact name, um, and I can't remember where it's from. I, I, I did write it down yesterday, so I could dis discuss it. Um, and I've just completely misplaced it. Um, but either way, I've got the mod where pallets are bigger. So instead of, say, spawning a strawberry every 500, it's 10 times bigger. So the strawberry pallets won't spawn until they're at 5,000 leaves. Now, I know you uh, people might be like, oh yeah, but you know, Reaper, that, that means when you sell it, you'll get more. You're right, but it means we won't sell as often. But it also means it takes 10 times longer to get an actual active um, pallet to sell, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back here, I'm going to get in the car, and we're going to go and sell the one pallet of, stra uh, of tomatoes or strawberries, I can't remember what I grew. Um, goldfish bread. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what it was I, I grew, so... Then we're going to look at rearranging this farm. Completely rearrange. Not all, well, not this side where the house is and the greenhouse and that. That's going to stay the same. Um, I'm going to sell those two sheds over there. Um, I'm probably going to bring in some really scabby old looking wood ones because they're cheaper. I'm going to try and pocket some money doing it that way. Um, basically, what it is, is, or what I'm not very keen on at the moment, is the fact that these are not the best for storing you know what i mean they're, they're not the best they're, a, they're an awesome mod but i'm just thinking for this series we're going to have lots of little equipment 
and the last thing we need to be doing is struggling to to, to get things in do you know what I mean it's we don't we don't we don't want we don't want to be doing that but yeah like so that's why one of the reasons why we haven't really had anything spawn you see um because of that mod now I'm just going to go and double check exactly what and where um I completely lost my bearings there it is um strawberries strawberries are currently selling so we'll get happen there yeah, we won't make enough money here. Eight, seven, nine, three. So that is the best price. Um, oh yeah. Should have maybe bought the, I, I knew I should have bought the roller first. I could have bought a slightly wider roller. We need that roller in this episode. I'm, I'm a little unaware of what to do here. Um, I, I do know where. It's not technically on our land, but I do know where. There's a couple of bits of scabby dead wood. We could maybe look at... Um, picking that up and selling it. Yeah, I don't really want to put a time lapse in this episode. Um, not until we're doing the rolling. Like I say, I'm not the biggest fan of rolling. But I can't do anything until I get this roller. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a little I'm a little bit ugh, at the moment. The tractor, yeah. If I didn't buy the tractor, I would have had more money because I could have I could have bought the tractor next month after the bailing contract. No, 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 I can't do the bailing contract without the tractor. Alright, this is, this is what I'm, I'm working with at the moment. Like, I've probably got goldfish brain at the moment. Um, but yeah, I can, I couldn't do that without... Oh, there we go. Excuse me, Mr. Man, coming in. Never been here before. Yeah, he won't give me enough money. Yeah, I did all right though, to be fair. 346 pounds. Right, so the only way I can do, there is a way I can do this. Um, if we sell one of the bands I want to sell, right now I can I sell the barn buy the roller then I can use the rest of the money that's left to buy the sheds that's how we're gonna do this like I say that's that's what it's all about um, I don't know how much money we'll get for these um, for these two sheds if I end up having to roll off recording though like I say I will do that off recording like, I'm never the biggest fan of, of rolling. I think it's kind of such a crappy job. There's no other word than crappy. I just, I don't really get any enjoyment out of rolling it. It's, it's kind of satisfying to look at, you know, the texture change, but yeah, it's kind of a bit, uh, Yeah, so we're not able to expand the farm field-wise um, at the moment. So, yeah, the reason I want to do this is I want to bring in some sheep. Um, I'm, I'm going to do this quickly because we're just wasting we're wasting time at the moment. So if anyone doesn't like me just doing this, um, yeah, I'm running out of time on this episode and I really want to get this done today. Um, this was my plan for the recording. Um, can't even work my keyboard today. I'm just going to put that in there. You can see that it's somewhat glitched out anyway here. Because I didn't level the floor. And it should have done. 
Um, right. Yeah, they, like I said, they, these are for absolutely fantastic buildings. Oh, wow, 8,900. Yeah, they're absolutely fantastic buildings. Um, they're just not quite what we need at the moment. Um, they're very long and can't really do much with them. I also didn't realise I didn't paint that. But then again, that doesn't surprise me, to be honest. Um, so I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to quickly... Quickly just sculpt that a little bit, just to try and... There we go. Right, so we've got money in the bank now, but we do need to get some... Uh, we need to get some little buildings in. And I've already thought of, like... Oh, hang on, let's get the animal pen in. This is the reason I'm doing this. Um, sheep. 13, 18. Honestly, I really want... I know we're going to use this... Oh, hang on. That's a little bit bigger than I thought. Um... Right, so, I see it's kind of just a little bit of a redesign, um, there's no way I'm doing all this by hand, I don't want to bring that tractor back down either, you know, from the shop, um, until, right, so that was five grand, right, okay, so there you go, so we've now got that, we've now got that, we've now got that, so that's in there like that, um, let's just have a look at the animals, I think that's going to be... We are just going to go for the smaller one. We'll definitely go for the smaller, the smaller sheep pen. I'm, I'm a bit gutted it needs water, to be honest. I would have liked one that didn't need water. They're a little bit... Um, I don't want to say they're easier to look after, but... Oh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that... I think what we'll do is... we level that up there? Um, yeah, I love that. That is really, really, really nice. Um, I am just going to put this texture back just on the outside. The gravel, I do prefer that. I've just realised I've just pinned in my... Oh, that's not good. Right, we may... Oh, I never thought of that. Um, maybe that's where some money's going to come from. We might have to chop this tree down here. Just to give it a little bit better access. Right, now we've done that. Um, I need these buildings that I wanted to do. So what I was thinking on here was... Uh, a double... A double episode... Uh, a double... A double one there like that. And then there's one over here which is a triple. Like that. I think that is a lot better. Um, the only, again, the only thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a little bit of gravel. Um, I know you wouldn't normally have gravel inside of a, say, a shed, but I, I don't. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to. What is it? Even? Now we've got somewhere to put. It's it's, ne it's nearly right. It's nearly good. Um. So yeah, I'm, I'm liking that. I'm really, really, really liking that. Um, generators as well. Um, let's have a look. Buildings, buildings, buildings. I just feel like that's going to give us more storage. Um, yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little bit gutted about where that wool's going to spawn. To be honest. <coughs> yeah, sorry about coughing there. Kind of caught me off guard did that one um yeah that caught it yeah I'm, I'm i've got to admit i'm not really impressed with that one and what i'm going to do is today is i'm also going to bring in the sheep no i can't bring the sheep i need to move that stuff there 
Um, but yeah, that that's gonna look. We've got somewhere to put equipment now. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. I really do. And I've got to keep this one because it's got our workshop. Um, so now we can go on here and buy our row. We didn't sell that to buy a bigger roller. It's just kind of a happy accident. Uh, Four thousand. I'd rather get the old one. It kind of fits our three thousand one hundred. There we go. And make, we means we might still have time to put in a small time lapse. A Belarusian tablet. Uh, uh, tractor. Why do you say tablet? If you do that, I know it kind of glitches through, guys, but it's kind of the only way. Oh, that tractor does not turn quite as nicely as it I thought. Either way, we've got 130 brake horsepower now. Um, you don't have access to the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because of the bum. So there we go. We've got a roller. Old school looking roller. I think that... I kind of like that texture, to be honest. All like old and rusty. I like that. Crap. Wow, I never even thought of that. I never even thought about crossing that bridge. Right, so four meters fits all across that bridge lovely. That is fantastic. Yeah, if you keep wondering why it's coming up saying not can't do the line, uh, obviously when you lower the roller it automatically rolls. Obviously on this case, it's um when we're going over the bumps, the roll is a little bit too close to the ground. Oh, I'm loving this roll. This roller looks... Yeah, that, that's... That's a lot of effort for that texture, for the rusty look. I like that. And it's still new. Well, it's new to us. Yeah, I do apologise if this episode does get to be slightly longer than the 30 minutes I would like. Um, yeah, they, I, I just didn't plan on having to deal with the... I was going to redesign the farm either at the end of this episode or at the beginning of the next one. Um, just to... You know, depending on the time. Um, but yeah, well, I'm going to put this straight into a time-lapse, guys, because, like I say, we are kind of just running out of time. I'd like to try and keep this series a little bit shorter on time, if it's possible. So I'll see you once we've done these three fields.
there we go. Done. Right, so in the next episode of the European Country Fight, we need to get these fields um, fertilised. They need two stages of fertilisation. Um, so yeah, we desperately need to get that done. Oh, never thought of this. This could be a very tight gap. Um, but yeah, all I'm going to do now, guys, um, I'm going to get, I'm going to kind of tidy up a little bit on the farm, get some equipment put away. Um, I'll tell you what I'm thinking of doing though guys, I know you guys have seen me do a lot of grass bales, especially considering when we first started this series. I'm wondering if I should maybe just cut, I'm thinking if I cut the grass, if I basically do these two contracts off recording, but you know I don't sell the bales, you know I'm kind of ready to go. Um, and then that way we can just kind of load in and be like, boom, crack on with what we were doing. Um, yeah, other than that, all I'm going to do off recording is I'm just going to put some of this equipment in the, uh, in the, in the things. Um, we can have 18 sheep. We might as well buy these. Um, we're in, we'll go for these adults, I think. How much is 18? Ooh, that's expensive. I reckon we go for the babies. There we go, we're going to buy them. And then what I'll do, I'll put a bit of water in this off recording just because it's it's water. And, uh, yeah, like I say, look, let's be honest, we're not really going to do that much with this now. It's, it's, it's a good place to be. Yeah, a little bit concerned about picking up the wool from here. Um, then again, maybe if we get an auto load trailer, we can just reverse up and pick it up. I don't know. We'll see. I don't really want to take any more trees down, because this is the edge of the map, you see. I really don't want to take any trees down, because it'll kind of... You'll kind of see it. Um, but yeah, we'll get... We'll get this... Um, we'll get this sorted. So, yeah. Oh, it's already saying we've got water. Even though we've got no water in here whatsoever. I don't really know what's going on, but that silo is apparently holding water. Seems to be feeding everything. But yeah, for now, guys, I do massively appreciate everybody watching this episode. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with an episode of Greenlands. And until then, guys, I will see you all later on. Bye for now.